Yeah, no, it just blew out. Blew out and went up. It's 4.30 a.m. when a young man gets a frightening wake-up call from his dad. Hearing my dad screaming my name, Dalen, Dalen, Dalen. The RV in the carport next to theirs was engulfed in flames. All I could see was fire, so I quickly ran out of bed, threw my pants on, threw my boots on. Within minutes, Snohomish Regional firefighters arrived. The windows were smashed because of the heat shattering them. It was too late for one 14-year-old girl who was trapped. Fire officials say she was sleeping in the front cab of this Tahoe. Her parents and sibling were in the back. They were able to escape. A fire department spokesperson says... It wasn't the fire necessarily that, that consumed her, it was the smoke. And that they're still looking into whether they had a working smoke alarm. When these things catch fire, they go up pretty fast. The cause, also under investigation. Yeah, good neighbors. While the family mourns. That dad especially, you could really see it. <clears throat> he was just, he was dead inside. He was dead inside. Dalen Thompson's family's trailer. Yeah was also damaged in the fire. They were apologizing for all the stuff of ours that got burnt, and Tanya and Dad were like, we do not care. Your kid died. That's what matters. So they spent the day picking up the pieces. Maddie White, King 5 News. The cause is still unknown, but firefighters wish to remind you that temperatures get colder. Be sure to keep curtains, clothing, and furniture at least three feet away from heat sources.